Let's be honest, starting a career in 3D can be super challenging. If you've clicked on this video, you probably have a dream or at least some interest in digital arts, whether that be 3D or 2D. And at this point, you might have an idea or a roadmap of how you want to get there. But the thing is, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Add in some imposter syndrome, which I'm sure every artist has. I can understand why beginners might feel frustrated. Hi, my name is Mpo. I'm a 3D artist from South Africa. My past eight years of learning have been filled with tons of tutorials. Can't forget the failures. I'm a loud introvert and love a lot of anime. In my spare time, I like to create videos like these and just document my journey. In this video, I want to share with you some of my thoughts and ideas of getting started in the 3D industry. Assuming that I already clicked on this video, I'm gonna guess that you already know what 3D is. But in case you don't, in a nutshell, 3D is the process of modeling, lighting, and rendering. Companies and studios may have different workflows or approaches to this. However, it usually goes to something similar like this. You start off with an idea or a script, which an artist would visualize or illustrate in the form of concept arts. So say you're creating a character, you take the concept or the idea, bring it into a modeling or sculpting software like Maya or ZBrush and literally shape that subject. And usually this is where the tricky part starts. There are so many softwares to learn and choose from. Texturing and materials in Substance Painter, animation and rigging in Maya, complex physics simulations and particle simulations in Houdini, lighting and rendering in Cinema 4D or Blender, followed up by compositing and encoding in DaVinci Resolve or After Effects. Oh yeah, um, you can't forget about sound. Okay, I think I've gotten my points across. There's plenty of softwares out there and to a beginner, or even a professional at times, this can feel very overwhelming. Which is why I use and I'd really recommend Blender. It's good for starting out and it's free to download. I mean, yeah, it's free to download and it does most of the things you expect a software to do. So you can do your modeling, lighting, rendering, um, texturing, and even coding if you're into that sort of thing. So 3D, this two letter word, it's a huge industry. And by now, I'm sure you can see that there's no way that you can make that feature film or game all by yourself. And you shouldn't try to. There are tons of people out there willing to help out. And in the end, you guys can learn a lot from each other. Looking back at my old self, I realized how difficult it can be for new artists to find the right path. If you're a beginner, I recommend you try as much as possible. Dabble into some sculpting, Unreal Engine, environments, or even animation. Try and learn as much as possible, and this way you will find out what you really enjoy doing the most. Which is why I created a list of some of the best 3D artists that you can learn from, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate. Check out the list in the description, and if you've got any questions or video suggestions, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for future content. Until next time, happy creating.